Hello, Harwood Nation. This is Gary Kerbin coming to you from the Convocation Center in Athens, Ohio. We just got done watching the Waterford Wildcats make a statement today, defeating the Eastern Pike Eagles 78-72. Now, Waterford may have came away with the dub, but Eastern Pike certainly didn't let it go without a fight. These two went back and forth in a hard-fought, stylistic matchup that deserved to be for the D4 District Championship. At the gate, it was evident that this was a chess match between two of the best in Southern Ohio. Waterford's ability to drive and dish served them well against Eastern's 2-3 zone, but the Eagles responded with pace and ball movement to methodically break down the Wildcat defense. At the end of the first, they were knotted at 16. In the second, it was clear Waterford's death, which had served them well all season, would be needed to clinch the hardware. Travis Potmeyer and Tyler McCutcheon, who finished with 13 and 17 respectively, went up against the Lice brothers, Evan and Ethan, who proved that buckets run in the family carving up the cast for 41 points combined. Unfortunately for the Eagles, Waterford understands that it takes a team to last in the convo, and the team stepped up in the second half. Coach Tom Sims implemented more tempo in his offense with the speed of Isaac Huffman and the post play of Pop Meyer took over. The sound of the net was on replay again and again. Waterford would put the Eagles in foul trouble in the fourth and went 26 for 30 at the line, finally icing the game with a Jordan Welsh free throw. A win like this shows the state that the Wildcats love the combo and they don't plan on vacating anytime soon. And they will play Grove City Christian Tuesday night at 615 in the Sweet 16 while Eastern season ends at 20 and 6. Now if you want to follow Waterford's journey through the playoffs, you can go on wob.org slash heroes. And remember, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and add us on Snapchat. This is Jerry Curvin reminding you all, stay heroic.